Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassie if you're new here and welcome to Cassie's Castle. Today's video, we are going to do a requested video. I will be basically comparing the Stony Clover like official pouches against the Stony Clover Target collection. I know some of you guys are thinking about getting into collecting Stony Clover and just kind of want my thoughts on the brand um, as I have accumulated so much in the past year. So I'm really excited to help you guys out and I'm also just going to include all the different pouches that I have. So it's not like a full collection but just the different pouches that I have and what I use them for. If you guys are interested in today's video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up, make sure you guys subscribe, and let's get started. If you don't know what Stony Clover is, it's a newer brand to me personally. I think I made my first Stony Clover purchase at the end of 2021. I think like March of 2022, I just became completely obsessed with the brand and I just wanted everything. They do a lot of collabs with Disney and that is really why I got into the brand and I was really introduced to it. I honestly didn't understand the hype before as I'm sure many of you guys don't understand it now, but once I made a purchase and I actually used it, I can't even imagine my life without using these products, especially if you're someone that travels a lot. It's game changer and I'm going to explain everything throughout this video. And then when it comes to Target, they actually did do a Target collection, which was a lot more affordable, like literally like... <laughs> one sixth of the price everything was so much cheaper but there are differences between the target collection and the official sony clover stuff let's just get into it because i feel like i've been talking for literally five minutes now and i don't even know what i'm saying the target collection i did purchase a duffel i love it it is so cute so it is like a baby pink color and it has like these hearts around it. it's like stitched tart super cute and that's what it looks like on the side i do have a luggage tag which was also from the sony clover target collection and they have gold hardware i'm a huge fan of gold hardware so that's what i love about sony clovers a lot of their stuff is gold hardware fits a lot of stuff um on the inside it says any clover at target on the inside i love this duffel i think it's great it was my first duffel i had never owned a stony clover duffel before the target one was my first one i used it so much i think it is perfect for traveling i have this duffel which is like an official stony clover duffel it is from the star wars collection stony clover you are able to customize things with different pouches this one has my name on it which i love and that's what the other side looks like. It does have like an extra strap. You can definitely feel the difference in quality. I know Stony Clover can be expensive, but when you actually like feel it, the quality is so good that it just like justifies it in my mind. Do I feel like you need an official Sony Clover duffel if you already have the Target one? No, I don't think it's necessary to have multiple duffels, like at least for me personally. The uh, Target one is also slightly smaller. Lined up on that side and then over here you can see there's definitely more space in the Star Wars one. The other difference is that this duffel has like these little pegs at the bottom which is nice, so that way your bag doesn't get all dirty if you set it on the floor. It's actually leather. This one actually has two zippers. What's great about the two zippers is if you're someone that stuffs their luggage to literally the max, the two zippers come in handy when you like can't get it all the way across. You can like meet it in the middle with the other one. I find that very helpful when you're using the Target one. Like it's literally like you need to like try and make everything fit and it's already smaller as it is so i'm not sure if you'll be able to tell on camera this one is definitely like a more like a duller gold whereas this one's like a really shiny gold this one looks a little bit rustier than this zipper those are the duffels i use the duffels as carry-ons i know people can fold them up put them in their suitcase and then you buy a bunch of merch at the parks um you can stuff it with all the things that you bought next thing we're going to compare are the backpacks is the target backpack once again i got the target backpack before i ever got a sony clover backpack the patches i stuck these on myself this patch is from the Sydney Clover website, but this patch was from the Target collection. It has like my 
initials on it all the patches have like a little sticker on the back and i think on some products it works like this one i've had no issues with it coming off but i think other products um it can be difficult so you might want to take it in store to get it sewn just like this hot pink color i feel like they had like a yellow one too a blue one they had a bunch of different colors this one does have like a little side pocket here what the straps look like this plasticky kind of material here you have the gold hardware and once again kind of like that rusty gold zipper and then from like the official sony clover one i have the princess backpack they have two backpack sizes on their website so you could get the full size or they have like a mini size which is also super cute and that one's like created for kids but can also fit adults but i did get the large one because i travel with a lot of things once again you can automatically feel the quality of the backpack this one is definitely more structured this is a lot bigger as well once I bought this one, I stopped using this completely, especially when traveling, just because it doesn't hold as much stuff. It does fit a laptop. The front pocket on this one just goes straight across. And then this one also has two zippers on the big pocket. There aren't any pockets on the inside, but it does just fit so much more. And then also... Both straps are padded, but like I said, this one just feels like a lot thicker. This one just feels really flimsy. Sony Clover logo on the back. This has these gold buckles, which I love that so much more. I think it looks prettier than the plasticky one. They're honestly both great. I just feel like this one fits so much more and I love it, especially if you love like Disney and stuff. I feel like having like a princess one like that just like makes my heart so happy but they have like solid colors if you're not like into all the prints and the craziness i'm telling you this is probably one of my most used items because i'm addicted to it i love it sony clover is also really well known for their fanny packs this is probably one of the most used items for like everyone from sony clover and i reach for a fanny pack literally every single day of my life i love the fanny packs i think they're great especially as someone that's like an active person i do teach dance classes so it's just easy to have a fanny pack on the go out the door i don't really carry too much stuff so i find the fanny packs really useful for my personal preference Let's start with the target one so got the white one this is a patch from their website as well it's the same as the other one i showed you guys but it is like a smaller version of it this one is definitely like more squared this rainbow strap and then it also has like a plastic kind of buckle here and the strap is not very big this is the biggest that it goes the only reason why it fits me is because i'm just really small human and i'm literally have like a child's body so that is why this this one fits me but i feel like if you're someone that's a little bit curvier like this just isn't working like i remember when this launched people were like it doesn't even fit past my chest i have no chest so <laughs> that's why i didn't really have a problem with it i know like the size issue with this one was like a big deal you could still wear it like around your hips though i know a lot of people were able to wear it around their hips like their waist um but i personally like to wear it like a crossbody has just like that one zipper and it has the logo on the inside regular sony clover fanny pack looks like this here's the star wars collection again it does have patches which this one is these are sewn on patches it has like the leather plaque you have a gold clasp and this one actually extends pretty big. So this one is definitely more size inclusive than the other one. I personally prefer the Stony Clover one. I don't really use this one that much, but if I do, it's just because it's white and so it matches a lot of things. But if it was like another color, like I probably would never touch this one. I definitely prefer the Stony Clover ones over the Target ones. For size difference, I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell. I would say they're pretty much the same size. Size. I think the stony clover like official one is just like a tiny bit wider and this one is just like more narrow if that makes sense those are the fanny packs the classic fanny packs and then stony clover also has jumbos and i feel like recently they've been doing a lot more jumbos I'll show you the one that i got i have this one that i got on amazon i think it was like literally half off the original price which is why i bought it like i said I always thought it was cute but like i didn't want to spend 
the full amount for it. Here is what the jumbo looks like. And this one fits so much more. Like, this is literally huge. So if you're someone that carries a ton of things, then the jumbo, I think, is perfect for you. I don't really care that carry that many things in a day. I think this is also a great option if you are going to the parks and you need a little bit more, but you don't want to carry a backpack. I think this is definitely like a great option for that. But it has basically the same exact details. It's just so much bigger. Here is the gold class. I'll show you what it looks like on me. I was really hesitant about the jumbos because I am such a small person. I wasn't sure if it was like gonna give me like kangaroo vibes. Personally think it does give me kangaroo vibes if I wear it up here. I don't really like the way it looks on my body when it's right in front, but if I wear it like it's like a little crossbody, I think it looks so much better on me personally. Here's what this one looks like when it's fully extended. I would probably do it like, like there. I feel like that looks better on my frame. And then here it is on the side. For Target, like I said, it is a smaller strap, so it does sit pretty high up onto my chest and here it is on the side those are all the fanny packs my most used size though is definitely the regular stunning clover one next let's get into some pouches like going to start with the mini pouches from the target collection got this one this one matches the duffel love this one because it's pink and it has hearts and that's really why i love it i actually am currently using this one for valentine's day because it has like the hearts and stuff and you can fit so much stuff in the minis i think the minis are also one of my favorite and most used products because I do use them like every day. I could just leave the house with my mini and I am set because I don't really carry that much stuff. In here, I currently have like a lip gloss, a lipstick, I have a lotion, my AirPods. I can fit my wallet in here. I have keys in here. So you can fit so much into the minis. Then I also have this mini, which is from Stony Clover. And I did patch it with the Anna patch. This one is definitely more structured. You can see like the lining here keeps the shape, whereas this one is definitely a lot flimsier. And then when it comes to size, this one is definitely wider, but I think the reason why it's so wide is because there is no structure on this pouch. So it's just gonna like create like weird shapes, if that makes sense. Whereas this one, it just kind of keeps its shape. I feel like if I wanna fit more things, I would use the Target one, but I just love either mini. I kind of see like the color difference here, especially in the gold. They do pretty much the same thing. Um, this one has like the leather plaque in the inside. Love a mini. It's definitely one of my favorite products that they have and I could just buy a million minis for the rest of my life. I just think, I just like miniature things in general. I think they're just so cute as well. So love these. I don't know if you would call this a mini, but it's kind of like a mini. Um, this is also from the Target collection. This one actually came with a patch on it. This one has like a little rainbow pouch. This one's clear, which I love the clear front. I just keep my straw charms in here and I don't touch it out for like anything else. So I don't even know what else fits in here, but I'm sure it's like pretty much the same thing that you would fit in a regular mini. But here is a size comparison. I think actually this round pouch like matches the official Sony Clover size better than the other one. Also, this one does have the lining. So I just really wish they would have done that for this mini, actually. I like the structured feel of this. Like, I like that it keeps its shape. Just like my personal preference, it just feels higher quality. Like Whereas this one just kind of feels cheaply made. I know they had a bunch of different colors without patches. I think the pink one is the only one that are, that came with a patch on it. And I wish it didn't because I would love to put like a mini pouch on it. Actually, I want to show you guys because I was just talking about the circle pouch. I actually have this circle pouch which is from the uh, Paris collection on the Sony Clover website. This is like an open top so there's definitely a difference. This one feels more like a pouch whereas this one feels like a box. It's like a circle box and I keep this on my vanity. I actually love it for my hair clips. I didn't really know what I wanted to use this for. I just thought it was really cute and I didn't want to pass it up. I just love the pattern and I love the color and so I picked it up and I wasn't sure what I was going to use it for and then I realized I had so many of these 
little hair clips that I get from different stores. I just love a good hair clip. I'm wearing one right now. Realize that it's just so perfect to keep them in this pouch. I love it. I don't use it for anything else, but you totally could put like scrunchies in here, um, jewelry. You can use it for travel if you wanted to. It's super cute. This is a style that they don't really have very often i think they've done this maybe like once or twice before it's kind of like a rare style whereas like the minis the duffels the backpacks the fannies like those are styles that they consistently have throughout the year it's like a harder style to come across so i'm happy that i have it and i love it so much next let's get into some small pouches i have this cinderella small pouch it's just like a nylon material I love a small pouch for travel, especially with my tech stuff. I'm not sure if this is something that everyone is always traveling with, but for me personally, I always have to carry like my camera, my tripod, my batteries, my battery chargers, my phone charger, my laptop charger. Like literally all of that will fit in a small. I have a couple of different smalls and sometimes I'll do like multiples depending on what you need it for. I know people use it for makeup. You can use it for literally anything. You can put your socks in here, your underwear. You can use them kind of like packing cubes. But here is what the small looks like. Super cute print. And then we have the um, leather plaque again and the gold zipper. I mean, it's just a pouch. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. You can fit two mini pouches inside of a small if you needed to so here's just like a size comparison if you needed that we also have a clear small a clear front small and this is a style that they don't really have too often they usually just do like nylon or just like printed ones you know that they have started to bring back clear fronts so that's really exciting i have this one it's just like a really a pretty mauve color and it has gold hardware and for cute and it's just clear and for some reason i like to put my travel size like shampoo conditioner face wash moisturizer sunscreen like all of those kind of like skincare products in the clear front and i I'm addicted to this clear front. I love it so much and I use this so much like Literally every time that I travel now I'm using a clear front for that purpose in my mind I don't know why this is but I can't put skincare in these pouches I don't know why I just feel like the clear fronts are made for that um, Even though there's literally no rules on what you use it for Remember that I do have a target small. I don't even use it anymore That's why I forgot about it once I got my um, Pink one. I just kind of kept it, but it is a clear front just literally clear and then we have like this really cute pattern in the back and i added the rainbow patch on it i just stuck it on and it's super dirty because it is white so that's like the one thing i was using this for makeup when i first got it because it's white now it's just like super dirty and i could clean it but i already have this one i use this one so much more pretty much the same size i do think the target one is slightly wider at least it feels like it is um and i feel like it can fit so much more in the target one besides that they're pretty much the same this one isn't a small one of their travel pouches i really want this travel pouch in pink once again the plasticky kind of material just is giving skincare vibes for me so whatever doesn't fit in this one i throw it in this one i did put a patch on it it's like a little elsa patch there is the size difference so this small is definitely longer i also think the small is like slightly taller than the uh, travel pouch also the travel pouch is probably one of their cheapest items on their website especially if you get it without a patch if you are something a little bit more affordable then i would say something like this would be great and then you can add like a disney patch if you want to make it more disney themed i do have a large pouch so this is what the Large looks like. I personally use this large for um, my Disney ears when I'm traveling because I just love the princesses and it just gives me Disney ear vibes. This does fit Disney ears, but then also you can fit two smalls in a large. So let me show you. Here's one small. Here's another one. This one on top. You can just keep all your pouches organized in a large. So I feel like that's also what's great about Sydney Clover is that like everything fits in 
something so it makes it a little bit more organized when you travel instead of just having like a bunch of small pouches everywhere kind of nice to use the uh, larges for that as well and then you can also use the larges for pa as like packing cubes if you want to put like all your swimsuits in this like i've seen people put like they'll get like patches that say swim and they'll put all their stuff in there you can also do like your hair products like your blow dryer your hair straightener they could fit in here as well that is the large pouch i think i use the large pouch the least i don't use it as much as like the smalls and the minis those are like personally my favorite also this video is not sponsored i wish it was <laughs> it's not i just really love the brand we have the open top and this is what the open top looks like i love this thing so much i use it every single time i travel so definitely one of my most used items just put all of my makeup in here it is once again a style that they don't have very often but they did bring it for the princess collection and i had to have it immediately it was one of my first Sunny Clover items ever and I love it so much. I love that there's all the princesses on it. I'm super dirty right now because I literally use this thing so much with all of my makeup that I use for traveling but it does have a mirror and it's just like an open space so that's like one thing like I kind of wish I had like compartments to kind of separate my makeup a little bit more but it's fine. It does what it needs to do. I do love this open top. I think it's so cute. Definitely one of my most used items. Keeps my makeup safe. I haven't had any issues with it breaking my makeup or anything so i love this we also have wallets so i only have one keychain wallet i think it is so freaking cute this one is just one of their like core colors so it's just like the baby pink color i think it's in the shade flamingo i love this color it just a stunning clover on the back and then this actually i stuck on a little bow pouch and it has like a little keychain it's just like a little card holder and it fits i mean right now i currently have five cards in here but you could definitely fit so much more i love it so much i use this every single day i don't even use any other wallet ever <laughs> this is all i use this does fit in a mini pouch fit everything into a mini and i don't even need like a purse i just carry this around this also could fit in your fanny See, you can put your fanny in here, keep it a little bit more organized. For the jumbo, fit a small pouch, add another mini. I'm fitting a small and two minis. And that's all in the jumbo. I'm telling you, once you have it, you're just like, wow, this brand is like the best thing that's ever been created. <laughs> because you just don't realize how often you're gonna use it. Last couple things that, that I have to show you, um, I do have a Sony Clover notebook. This is probably like one of the least necessary items that you could have. It's just a notebook. I just really like it. I think it's really cute. You can customize it however you want. And then I just keep all of my notes, any ideas that I have. I just have like a little pen holder. And what is great is that you can take this out and you can get another insert. So you don't have to like throw the whole notebook away if you don't end up using it. Oh, Here's my vaccine card. I was wondering where this was. It's in the back of my notebook. It's kind of one of those things like once you have one, you don't really need multiples. I mean, unless you want to have multiple notebooks, but one for me is like perfect and I love it. I do have some scrunchies. This is a bell scrunchie and it just looks like this. I love that it has like the little bow. I think it's really cute little accessory. But then there is also like jumbo scrunchies that they do sometimes. I think it was like the like their summer collection. So it's like a terry cloth kind of material. It has like little pearls. It's just like a bigger scrunchie to compare the sizes for you in case you were curious. The actual scrunchie itself is like the same size. It's the fluffiness is different. Very, very last thing that I have is this keychain pouch. This one I currently have like coins in here. It's just like a little pouch. This once again is from the denim collection. But they've done this kind of style a couple of times which is why I'm showing you. Like a little keychain and it's honestly just cute. Like even if you don't actually use the pouch itself, you can just use it as like decor to your fannies and that is super cute so it just like adds like a little accessory to your sunny clover bags not necessary and also not a very useful pouch like a, you can't really fit much in here maybe like a little bit of change maybe a lip gloss or like a scrunchie that is my stony clover collection ish review 
size comparison, what fits in my Sony Clover, Target versus SEL video. Hopefully that was helpful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Once again, I don't own every single style of Sony Clover pouches, so there's definitely a lot of things on the site that I've never tried out before. don't really know how those work out, but hopefully what I did show you today was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe so you guys can see some more Sony Clover videos. If you have any other Sony Clover videos that you really want to see, leave them in the comments and I'll make sure to add them to the video request list. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!